Indra, today's results show that women perceive the playing field to be uneven. Um, what were some of the challenges that you faced on your own path? Um, did you feel that you were someone who, who uh, before you were CEO, uh, wasn't listened to? Did you face particular challenges as a woman? Oh, it was crappy. I mean, <laughs> no, come on, let's just talk. Remember, I came into the workforce 35 years ago. In many cases, I was the only woman in the room. And uh, for a long time, I was the only woman, and I, men wouldn't give me eye contact. Or, you know, in projects, I'd get the lousiest part of the project, and all the men would get the plum assignments. Uh, when I spoke, my boss would say, oh, that's highly theoretical. And if, if the guy said the same thing, I'd say, oh, what a brilliant idea. <laughs> so uh, I, I got smart. I said, I got a great idea. I turned to Al and said, Al, could you just say this? Because if you said it, it's practical. If I say it's theoretical. So I, too, learned to be sassy. But I tell you, the world has changed. The world has changed. I think we are now in the decades of women. And it goes back to the question you posed to Brian. I look at our business. More than 50% of the women, of the graduates from colleges and universities are women. The toppers in all the classes are women. We want an amazingly good workforce. If we don't tap into that whole workforce, how is this going to work? First, imperative. Second, it costs a lot of money to get them into the company. If they now leave us, that's wasted money. So we want to bring them in, we want to train them, we want to keep them. In order to do that, we have to allow them to bring, to bring their whole selves to work. We have to explore that topic a bit more because I honestly believe it's one of the biggest social issues, societal issues of our time. So I hope we have the time to explore it. The third thing in my business, food and beverage, 80% of the decisions, the mom's the gatekeeper or the woman's the gatekeeper. So if we don't have women in our company making decisions on behalf of the women shoppers, what are we going to do? So I think in my business, in our business, if we don't have fabulous women in the company, we are not going to create as much shareholder value as we should. So to me, the case is very simple. The challenge we have is how do we get this fantastic women who come into PepsiCo and keep them? Keep them in two ways. Keep them engaged in the company while also being wives and mothers and whatever else they want to be. Then protect them. I'd love to hide them in a closet so other companies wouldn't poach them. Those are my two challenges, okay? 